All right, so we looked at Mike's rig. We looked at my rig. This is the rehearsal rig. I am no longer alone in the rehearsal space. Mr. Matty White Pants, the bass player extraordinaire, has joined us for our rehearsal. All right. <laughs> so Matt and I are the rhythm section here. Uh, so in the rehearsal space, uh, we are currently using, um, this is one of these old Fender, uh, I don't even know what they are at this point, the Fender MB1200, something like that. They don't make them anymore. Uh, with an old from the 80s Fender 4x12 with a poked hole in it, but whatever. It gets us through the night in the rehearsal rig. Uh, live, though, this pedal board is the exact same. So tell us about this, Matt. What, so what's our, what's our pedal at the top there? Uh, it's the pedal power. It actually uh, powers all of the pedals. Ah, the pedal and power power pedal. That's the name power pedal, pedal oh, power. Nice. Um, I usually drop straight into my chromatic tuner so that I can mute and tune, drop D, regular E, so perfectly in tune just like that. Very nice. Um, I keep my boss amazing compression pedal on all of the time. Ooh, trade secrets. I There's just settings. Like the sustain, I like the fatness. It sounds awesome without it, but it sounds even more awesomer with this correct loop. Very so nice. You may or may not notice all these amazing uh, markings I have so that when I jam it in the road case, I can quick set it back like it's supposed to be, and I don't have to remember all of this all of the time. All right, viewers, steal those settings and get the Roger Waters Matty White Pants Yeah, setting. for real, like pro tip, at least mark your own pedals because it's awesome. So I do that. I've got this new uh, recently added beautiful... Is that a, uh, looks like a DD5 to it me, is. man. It's a DD. It's a digital delay. Uh, comes in handy on multiple tunes, but I'm not using it today. All right. Uh, chorus pedal. It sounds amazing on specifically you. Oh, the Hey You settings. The All right, hey steal them if you're going to steal them, people. Yeah, those are the ones. All right. Maybe, maybe I'll give a little bit of extra, just like that. There give it go. some love. Yep. And then I think this is probably my favorite. This is the... Uh... Baseballs. All right. I actually had to put some tape on it because every now and then this goes... Uh into the uh, eyesight of children, so I don't want them learning any bad words yeah. from me. <laughs> when, when you have a crazy light show and your pedals are reflective, uh, some gaff tape can fix all that for yeah, you. Yeah, actually, yeah. So what's uh, what's our live rig? So I know that's the live pedal board, and this is our rehearsal rig. Ampeg, and Ampeg we'll, all the time. You are an Ampeg man Ampeg. live. Ampeg, yes, 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 all yes, right. yes. Four tens uh, with a uh, P2R on top, all the power in you. Nice, uh, what are we holding there, man? What do you? What's your axe, your uh, axe of choice? I believe this is called an electric bass. <laughs> it's uh, American Fender P bass, my favorite. I've had it for about 10 or 15 years. Nice. And, uh, yeah, big fan. That's just out of the shop, no modifications? Uh, I switched the pickguard. I had a um, red tortoiseshell one on there that had carved Sterlonga into it because that's the name of it. Gotcha. Uh, inspired by like quite an epic video game session. Okay. Sterlonga, if you're out there, dude, thank you. You tanked like an absolute champion. But anyway, I named uh, the bass after that glorious Very nice. moment. Yeah, so I switched it out to the white one because I think it's a little... Uh, Brighter, classier, nicer learner. Fantastic. All right. Well, hey, make sure you take a look. Uh, come out and see us at the end of our 2023 season happening next week. And we are getting ready for our 24 season.